If you're a frequent simulation user, you understand how simplifying your models can save lots of time when running your studies. SOLIDWORKS 2011 has included a new feature to simplify certain models into a 2D environment for finite element analysis. Working with 2D models allows you to work with a much simpler mesh and less contact conditions, which also means much faster calculations. Here, I have a symmetric part that I'll be able to use 2D simplification on. Now keep in mind that not all geometry will be able to be simplified. Only geometry that will not create forces normal to the 2D plane can be used. So think about this carefully before you decide to simplify the study, or you'll end up with inaccurate results. To create a 2D study, select New Study in the Command Manager, and in the Options section, you have a checkbox to Use 2D Simplification. I'll check this, and click OK. There are three types of 2D simplifications, depending on your geometry. Plane stress, plane strain, and axisymmetric. Plane stress works best for thin geometries. The 2D plane that will be used runs through the thickest section of the model. In the model shown here, if I use the front plane as the 2D plane, it runs through the thickest part of the model, and a plane stress analysis would be appropriate. A plane strain is used for geometries where the 2D section plane is extended for long distances on either side. For example, a circular 2D section plane in the middle of a pencil would need a plane strain analysis. Axisymmetric is used for geometry that's symmetric about an axis. For this example, I'll use plane stress. Here in the property manager, you can see the selection box for the section plane. I'll select the front plane to use for the 2D section. In the section depth spin box, enter total thickness of the part that extends in both directions from the new section plane. I'll enter 2 inches. And that's all I need to enter here, so I'll click OK. The 2D plane is shown in the graphics area and the study tree appears like it would in a normal study. Notice the body icon now represents a 2D section plane. Even though this is only a planar section of the model, I still need to add a material to get accurate study results. Fixtures and loads can mostly be applied the same way as in a 3D model. The only exception is that both fixtures and loads will only be applied to edges. I'll add a couple of fixtures to the bottom hole, and a couple of loads to the top two holes. At this point, I can mesh and run the study, and the results are displayed. I can also view each of the plots in both 2D and 3D. By default, they're in 2D. To show the results in 3D, right-click on the plot in the study tree and select Show as 3D Plot.